The Thai cave where 12 boys and their football coach were trapped for almost three weeks was finally sealed after rescue operations succeeded this Tuesday. An expert team of divers helped bring the 13 of them to safety. One of them was a British civilian diver who was among the group who found the 12 schoolboys and their coach. John Volenthen returned home after the rescue operations concluded. Speaking with reporters at the airport, he said that the rescue was a result of successful cooperation between military and civilian divers and the Thai Navy. I'm very pleased it worked out quite so well. So it, it worked out, the results speak for themselves. I think it was the result of uh, an international team of military and civilian divers working alongside the Thai Navy. Everybody pulled together and, and the results speak for themselves. So we're just very happy that the boys are out and, 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 and safe. What was um, it like when you saw that all the boys, all 12 boys were in that cave? Relief is the word I would use to describe it. We were very pleased and uh, we were very relieved that they were all alive. But I think at that point we realised the enormity of the situation and uh, that's perhaps why it took a while to get them all out. Now just tell us what the conditions were like in that cave system. Um, obviously flooded, dark, uh, poor visibility underwater, so a, a lot of difficulty, um, but with a strong international team we were able to, able to overcome those difficulties and ultimately, as I said, the results speak for themselves. Let's talk of you getting an award for this, how would that make you feel? We're not heroes. What, what we do is very calculating, very calm, it, it's, it's quite the opposite, um, that's, that's what we do. We take it one step at a time and hopefully, as we've managed to in this case, we, we come up with the results. But it's really the international team that I would like to focus on. And a word about and the man who lost his life, John, as well. I was also about to say, obviously, our condolences to Saman and, and his family. It's an absolute tragedy. Um, it, it's kind of a, a bittersweet for what's otherwise been a, a... It's very tense. It's very unusual to see your son on television and everybody saying so many kind words about him. I mean, is this my son they're talking about? Um, and then when they lost one of the uh, members of the team, um, again, it makes you realise that these things do happen. And I knew that I wouldn't be happy myself until we had a perfect result, which I understand we have now. All right, so a happy ending at uh, long last. Those kids are back home, as is the coach. They are recovering in hospital, and the rescuers are now headed back to the different countries that they came from. <laughs>